it seems that there was some level of aggression because so many rounds and 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 it's it's not as though it was just enough to to just shoot him violence and death in jackson county commerce today an older man recognized by many in that community along i-85 toward lake hartwell gunned down in front of a hardy's this morning 72 year old calvin barnum shot dead this morning all this outside of fast food restaurant in a community where homicide and gun violence is rare. Tonight, those who knew the victim back at that Hardee's to honor his memory with a vigil and to try to- First time they say gun violence is rare, you see a bunch of gliders and shit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God, oh. wait. Rare. Tonight, those who knew the victim back at that Hardee's to honor his memory with a vigil and to try to understand why a 72-year-old man was killed on a quiet Sunday morning. And tonight, we have learned there is a person of interest. Commerce Police and the GBI say 23-year-old... Ex- oh, RZA-looking ass nigga, man. Get- <laughs> <laughs> and go to jail for this. Like, what you in for? I shot a 72-year-old. Like, what the fuck? He was aggressive yeah. man. And like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that nigga's crazy. This is retarded. Yeah, that's wild. In a, in a society that would find that to be something to be shamed, that would matter. But in this community, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he just he thinks that he thought that nigga was worthless and wasted him. But but it's other old retarded body. Congrats. <laughs> old retarded body. <laughs> that's like that's like catching a wounded deer. Yeah, for real. <laughs> a maimed deer. <laughs> but in other communities, like that's. They don't. They don't appreciate that. I mean, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, in some community, it's not that. It's not that we don't appreciate it. Now it's just like we don't care. It's like it, even <laughs> if you kill somebody by accident. No, real shit. When it, when when we kill people by accident, we don't think about that shit. Like, oh shit. It's like damn. Fuck. No, we'll well, that's what I mean, though. They don't appreciate. They don't. It, it, that's what I mean, though. You you dedicate a, a a blunt to him, and then you you know move move on with your life. Yeah, Look, they home. they so gave him they gave the nigga a memorial. They dropped some candles. And that's and pretty nice. Like putting the memorial up too, honestly. <laughs> that shit gonna get rained on the next right. day. Pretty nice gonna clean that shit nice. up. I mean, it's Ooh. not George Floyd or nothing, but it's nice. No, he got he got a picture <laughs> of himself. He got a couple candles here. He got a nice bouquet. This right here. Yeah. This is a nice arrangement right here. This one here. Yeah, yeah it's man. pretty. He's pretty good, man. He must have been a great guy, man. And to try to understand why a 72-year-old man was killed on a quiet Sunday morning. And tonight, we have learned there is a person of interest. Commerce Police and the GBI say 23-year-old Xavier Clark is wanted for questioning. They say he was last seen driving a Blue Dodge Journey with a Georgia tag of CKP9568. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles joins us now from Commerce with detail of a murder that would appear to have no motive. Jeff, the bullet holes left in this Hardee's where Varnum was shot will be a constant reminder for the commerce community. That's because this is where Varnum would wave hello to everyone who passed by. And tonight, those Oh, who- so he was out there. He was like, we was out, we out there waving the sun man. Probably went, what the fuck that nigga? Yeah, he annoyed a sun man, which is yeah. the cause of waving that bitch people. ass nigga. Yeah. Oh, I'm just waving. It could be something. Mean, so, it could be something so small, like he said, "Hey, son, nigga, you ain't my father." Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's pretty. Cool. Hey, hey it was, young man, you need to calm down. Type shit. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro, little bro. What? <laughs> bro, God damn, is... these niggas will snap over anything. Yeah. Shit. Get your hand out my pocket. He was <laughs> proximal though by his being in public, like. Him being that guy interacting, you know what I'm saying? Like you're in, you're waving, you're out there. Had he just been like one of those ones that's sitting there at McDonald's all day and read the paper and drink coffee and shit? Yeah, just be sleep. Get yeah, a then little, he just caught a stray one. Get a little yeah. nod on. <laughs> he would have just caught a stray. Yeah, he this, a stray. This, this one right here. Like he would have died out, in his sleep. He's out like engaging the community. Yeah, man, you 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 can't do that now. now <laughs> yeah, he, he doing too much. You got that. This community. That's because this is where Varnum would wave hello to everyone who passed by, and tonight those who knew him are waving one last goodbye. 
even though we may not have known him on a personal level, we knew his smile, we knew his wave, we knew what he brought was joy. And I think all of us as a community are just gonna grieve and mourn that. Casey Jordan has lived in commerce all her life. They got some big women down in Oh, commerce. damn, that oh, was yeah. in commerce? Oh, shit. That's Where's a Georgia Peach right there. That's uh, <laughs> North Georgia. Georgia. North Georgia. I mean, it's, I mean, commerce is a pretty country area, pretty chill. Like, is it by Atlanta? Shit, sh sh nah, it's not by Atlanta. It's probably like two hours away from Atlanta. Shit don't really happen in commerce like that, though. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, well, I see why. <laughs> see why <I'm laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of it's a lot yeah, of um, them hoes ugly as shit out there too. Yeah, a lot of portly mm. women back there. Oh, yeah. out here. Man. They, they're God. eating good. All her life. She Hell yeah. Tragedies like this just don't happen here. Not a town where people waved hello to Calvin Barnum. Uh oh, yeah, my oh, son. Man. Hold on, hold on. Right. That's too many for me. <laughs> All right. Somebody gets a body. The more <laughs> the memorial gets three. shot up. Mm, them some lead drinking niggas right there, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 lead the water down there, man. Yeah, no cap. Yeah, them brothers down there. Them brothers hey, they hit there. hard though. Hey, we played them in football. They used to hit, boy. Oh yeah, definitely. Boy. <laughs> niggas hit you with their whole helmet. Yeah. I was devastated. I was like, no, this could not happen to Calvin. Weird. What in the world? She looked like a cartoon character. <laughs> she here with the helmet too. She's hey, she looked face. like uh, she looked like um, Miss Pearl, SpongeBob teacher. Yeah. <laughs> she looked like an, she looked like animation. She looked um filter like the animation filter on Facebook and shit. Yeah. yeah or 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 like the shark from um the little shark from damn what's that shit called? Nemo like cartoon. cartoon. She like from Philly, man. God damn. Philly, <laughs> man. Yeah. Oh, Philly. Calvin don't bother nobody. He went. He, man, like, he killed. You shit this dude with what? He shot 70 shots at this guy? What the fuck? Uh, Y'all remember that movie Shark Tale? Barnum was doing what he always does <laughs> no. Saturday morning, greeting the community near this Hardy's on Homer Street when things took a turn. A vehicle pulled up uh, next to him. There was some. Seemingly some brief conversation and oh, oh, and uh, altercation. <laughs> oh man, come on! You could have gave this guy what? What did this guy say to? I'm telling you, he called him son, bro. He lost it. I don't know. I don't know my yeah, dad. What you say to me, nickel? <laughs> <laughs> he said, we gotta do better. What? <laughs> Young kids with your pants yeah, hanging boy, off your ass. <laughs> Some, what did you say about my mama? Conversation and the man inside of the vehicle um, fired a gun at Mr. Barnum multiple times. And then sped off in this dark blue Dodge journey. Some of the rounds ended up in the restaurant. Barnum later died at the hospital. Commerce Police Chief Ken Harmon says evidence leads did them to believe the this bullet? was targeted. Oh, Barnum's yeah. cousin Dana Lynn Rucker says the family's heart is broken into 1,000 pieces. If he could do anything to help you, he would. But to lose his life senselessly, senselessly as this, yes, that's, that's not right. And the community can't believe it. Chief Harmon says this is their first homicide in two years. This isn't a common common occurrence. Uh, but certainly your first homicide. Yeah. Mm. Commerce is pretty yeah. chill. It's, it's a good place to live. Mm. And Commerce is struggling with the loss. Doesn't showed up in support of Barnum at this vigil. And Patty Nix says the only question left is why. Did somebody not take the time to get to know him? And did they just do this for no reason? And if they did know him, how could you know that man and hurt him? How could you hurt him like that? Yeah, at least he, at least we get uh, hey, at least we get good stuff like 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 versus the when we had the son people saying, oh, he's so funny, and he made people laugh. Like it seems like everybody was genuine about this guy. Yeah, yeah. he got the whole town out. Right. Yeah, Yo, he probably hey. he probably he probably said uh, I feel sorry for your mama. Like the movie. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel sorry <laughs> for your mama, like Minister Society. <laughs> and he had to he had to smoke him after that. <laughs> what you say to me, Nick? Man, <laughs> this is crazy, man. Yo, but yeah. but if they would have interviewed a sister, I actually would have been like, we gotta address the root causes. Yeah, exactly. She would have been uh, talking about the shooter. 
So they got him in custody. So that's good. They got him in custody. So that's good. Um, that's good. They got they got the they got the bastard in custody. That's baby. a gaunt looking son, man. Come on, you know they just grabbed any brother eye. You know better. <laughs> yeah, that nigga's innocent. Two year old man in commerce. Free my nigga. Now, the person of interest has been arrested and charged with murder. Right now, 23 year old Xavier Clark is behind bars at the Jackson County Jail. Oh, he damn, I've seen this nigga before. Yeah, hey, Wu Tang. <laughs> the shooting death of 72 year old Calvin Varnum. Varnum was special needs and is well known in his beloved community. Post special needs, guys. So he shot a, a 72 year old special, special needs brother. Guy. Special. I mean, he made it to 72 being special shit. That's special in itself, right? <laughs> yo, yo, that's a good point. I right, wouldn't abrupt own? ending to like a but, seventy-two. They like, wouldn't abrupt ending. But on some real shit though, how, the family kicked his ass out. Where, where I mean, who, right? <laughs> supposed to, that nigga's supposed to be at the crib, you know. Right. Well, maybe he um, liked being at the Hardys. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. He liked being out. You know they just mean? let him. They just I, let him go up there and then come back home after. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, like. I mean, the commerce is pretty safe, but they didn't. I'm yeah. Sure. It, it really is safe. Like this type of shit never happens in commerce. Like you could go to the Tanger outlet out there in commerce and shop. They got some good discounts at the Nike store. Just the um, word of the Hardys. Yeah. I and they got they got a uh I mean they got neighborhood watch type vibes out there in commerce. Like you definitely got some glaring eyes on you. Stick out like a sore thumb, you like, know. Like they, they call in the police on the like they got Karen's calling the police on brothers. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah. yeah a lot of karen's out there man yeah, yeah. it is <laughs> karen is just, just concerned ass resident yeah and the white boys will holler out nigga outside of the car window that's they good will. man get your fucking ass <laughs> the fuck out of there man it's oh, a healthy shit. level of racism don't good. let stunner hear that don't let stunner hear that <laughs> good. Get you, get your fucking, get get the fuck out of here. They made that. They try to make it uncomfortable. For That's their way of spinning the blog. But look, if you if you're a son man and that don't make you uncomfortable, then you're alright. I mean, I, yeah, I, man. leave, like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't play out there for real. Yeah, man, cause y'all bring this shit, man. Listen, man. Look at this thing. This thing looks like goddamn God damn. There's like no Dennis, ad. It look like Dennis Rodman's son or some shit. Yeah, I swear I seen this nigga downtown. I, I feel like I seen this nigga downtown. No cap. Dennis Rodman mixed with Wesley Snipes with another dog. <laughs> Real yeah. shit. Oh man. Well, he wasted his fucking life. I mean, dude. That that shit just don't make no sense. Kill a seventy-two year old man? How? For I'm what? Mad, he don't I'm look that, that sharp himself. Yeah. That nigga Calvin chin Arnold. sharp though. Arnold was <laughs> yeah. And is well known in his beloved community. Police say he was standing outside the Hardee's on Homer Road when the suspect pulled up in a blue Dodge Journey and shot him multiple times. Neighbors and commerce tell us they know Barnum because he stands outside of that Hardee's all the time to just give everyone a wave and a smile. Right, they, 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 they got, that's the same shit. Yeah, they? same so, one. Um, oh, man. It's, it's, it's rough out here in these streets, man. Um, we got 